in this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a swipeable Instagram slideshow widget like this on your WordPress website. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. The plugin allows us to create fast and responsive Instagram feeds in just a matter of minutes without any coding needed. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now inside your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on add new. Then click on upload plugin at the top and upload a zip file for Instagram Feed Pro like this and click install now. Once installed, go click on activate plugin. And there we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can start creating our first Instagram slideshow widget, we first have to go activate our license key. To do this on the left hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed, hover over it like this and click on settings. And on this page beside license key, you can paste your license key that you copied from your Smash Balloon account like this and click activate. And there we go, our license key has now been activated and we can begin creating our first Instagram feed. Once again, on the left hand side, under Instagram feed, click on all feeds. And then to get started with your Instagram slideshow widget, go and click on add new at the top. With Instagram feed pro, you can create several different types of Instagram feeds. For example, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. For this video, let's go ahead with user timeline that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on next. Then we'll have to connect our Instagram account that we want to display on our feed. Go click on add source. Next, we can select whether our Instagram account is a personal or business account. The account I'll be demonstrating with is a business account, so we're going to select it here. But if your account is a personal account, you can go with the personal option as well. Let's click on business. And now it's asking us if we've connected our Facebook account with the plugin before. If you're doing this for the first time, you can go click on no, and then click on connect with Facebook. This will take you inside Facebook and inside you should see all the Instagram accounts associated with your Facebook account. Go ahead and select the Instagram account you want to display on your feed like this and click next. And then you'll have to select the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account too. Go ahead and select it like this and click next. And on this step, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Instagram and Facebook accounts. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but we won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf, so it's completely safe. So you can go ahead and click done and then click on OK. And on the security confirmation, all you have to do is confirm that this domain is yours. Go ahead and click on yes, it's my domain. And now back inside the plugin, you should see the Instagram account that you just connected to Smash Balloon. Go ahead and select it like this and click on add. And you should now see it as a source inside the plugin. So you can select it and click on next. And for our last step, we'll have to select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of our Instagram feed. You have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, masonry cards, card grid, and many more. For this video, since we want to create a swipeable Instagram slideshow widget, let's go with the simple carousel template we see here, and then click on next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our new swipeable Instagram slideshow widget right here inside the plugin. You can see all the latest posts from the Instagram account we've connected inside this slideshow widget. And to swipe through the post, all you have to do is click on the arrows we see here, like this, or on the pagination dots at the bottom. This makes your Instagram feed very interactive on your website, so users can swipe through the content and choose which posts they interact with. We can now go and embed this on our WordPress webpage, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this feed. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. As you can see, currently we have the carousel layout selected, which lets you swipe through your Instagram posts like this. Alternatively, you can go with the grid layout, which displays your posts in rows and columns. Next, we have the masonry layout, which displays your posts in rows and columns once again, but with the posts in their original sizes. And lastly, we have the highlight layout, which highlights one specific post at the top, along with all the rest of the posts inside a grid. For this video, let's continue with the carousel layout. And if we look down below, we can also modify how many rows we want inside our carousel. Currently, we have one row selected, but if you want to change that, all we have to do is open it up like this, and you can select two rows instead. And once that's selected, you can see that change made instantly inside the live preview. And this one is fully swipeable too, just like this. Let's change that back to just one row. And if we look further below, you can modify the loop interval, the interval time, and you can even choose to show the navigation errors inside the feed, as well as the pagination dots. To hide any of these features, all you have to do is deselect it like this, and they will no longer be shown inside your feed. We'll leave that enabled. And you can also enable autoplay, which means that the post will automatically swipe through on your feed, just like this. I'm gonna leave that disabled, and if we scroll down to the bottom, you can also choose how many posts you want to display inside your feed on both desktop and mobile. You can see currently we're displaying 12 posts inside this swipeable carousel, but if you want to change that, all we have to do is change the number here, just like this. And just like before, any change we make will be reflected inside the live preview right here. And lastly, at the bottom, you can also specify how many columns you want to display inside your Instagram feed. To modify this, it's very easy. All you have to do is select the number of columns you want. And once again, that change will be instantly reflected inside the preview. I'm going to change that back to four. And once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, go click on save on the top right corner. 
Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, go into Color Scheme under the Customize tab. As you can see currently, it's set to Inherit from Theme. This means that Instagram Feed Pro will automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. And once you've found a color scheme you're happy with, go and click on Save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to control which posts you want to display on your feed, go into the Settings tab and click on Filters and Moderation. Inside this menu, go ahead and toggle Enable over here, and then you'll see the Allow List and Block List. When using the Allow List, all the posts in your feed will be hidden apart from the ones you manually choose to display, just like this. Alternatively, if you go with the Block List, all your posts will actually be shown on your feed apart from the ones that you manually hide, like this. I'm going to disable it for this video, and if we go back into filters and moderation, you can also add keywords to hide or show certain posts that contain those keywords. And if we look down below as well, we can also choose to show specific post types inside our feed, including photos, feed videos, and reels. So you have a lot of controls to choose the exact content you want to display on your Instagram feed. And if you've added any filters, make sure to go click save on the top right corner. And now that you know how to create and customize your Instagram feed, let me show you how we can embed it onto our WordPress webpage. To do this, go and click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to embed your feed to, and click on Add. Now, on our WordPress webpage, you have two different options to embed your Instagram feed. The first option is by using a shortcode block, and pasting the shortcode that we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a beautiful preview of your new Instagram feed directly inside your web page. Now let's go and click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And now on our live web page, and right in the middle, you can see that Instagram slideshow widget that we just added onto the page. All the latest posts from our Instagram account are displayed in this beautiful feed, and you can swipe through the post just like this. And if a site visitor wants to click on any of these posts, it will open up that post inside this beautiful lightbox view like this. And on the right hand side, you'll find your post caption, any comments if they're available, and a button to share the post or to view it on Instagram. You now know how to embed an Instagram slideshow widget onto a WordPress webpage. If you want to learn how to add one to the sidebar or footer of your website, let me show you. Back inside the plugin, all you have to do is go click on Embed once again, copy your shortcode, and instead of clicking on Add to a page, go and click on Add to a widget instead. This will take you into your WordPress widgets menu. And in this video, let's go and add our Instagram slideshow widget into the main footer of our website. To do this, open up the footer widget here, and to embed our feed, we have the same two options as before. We can use a shortcode block and paste that shortcode we copied earlier, like this. Alternatively, you can use your dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, once again, you'll see a live preview of your Instagram feed directly inside that widget. I'm going to move that up here, and we can now go click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are back on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle, you can see that Instagram slideshow widget we created earlier with all of our posts in the swipeable feed. And now if we look down below, inside the footer, we have a second Instagram feed, and this one is also a swipeable slideshow, just like this. So we now know how to embed an Instagram feed directly onto the WordPress web page and onto the footer as a widget as well. And just like the one above, users can click on this photo to view it inside the light box view. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business.